I've done quite a few upgrades to my dump trailer, just the whole setup. And there is one upgrade that by far exceeds any of the others. I'm going to show that to you right now. So one of the most common problems I'd have with my dump trailer, well, is the battery running out. You have this 12 volt battery in here and you got this electric pump and two, maybe three if you're lucky dumps within a day and your battery's dead. That has been one of the most annoying things with my dump trailer over these last few years is just always having problems with the battery. I even thought about going with a gas engine hydraulic motor to run this and I didn't want to go through all the mess of that. So I did this. I went in here and got me some very heavy battery cable. This is one off gauge battery cable, as you can see there, one over zero, whatever you want to call that. It's very thick wire. It allows for a ton of ampage to go across it. So I set me up a quick connect and then I put that positive and negative to my battery. And then for that connector, I also have this connector on my truck. So that connector there uses the same type of battery cable, but it runs all the way up to the front of my truck and connects to the batteries of my truck. Now this is a 2020 Chevrolet 2500 diesel. So I have two 12 volt batteries in this truck and a pretty high ampage alternator that keeps those batteries nice and charged, which also has more than enough power to come over here and constantly keep this battery charged. Now, I don't wanna call this a charging system because really this is overkill for a charging system. This is a live three battery setup, technically. I could literally take the battery out of this dump trailer and as long as I had the pump cables connected to the battery cables, I could run this pump off of the two batteries that I have in my truck. And I know that because I've done it to test it to make sure everything was good. And I did two or three dumps with it and the battery cables never got hot. They were completely fine. Everything felt fine. I was really just trying to do a stress test of it and it did wonderfully. So now I never really have to worry about this battery being dead. The only thing I ever have to worry about on this battery is when it actually completely dies and I need to replace it. So I have to keep an eye on it to make sure I don't have just a dead battery in here. But man, I can do pretty much unlimited dumps with this dump trailer now. If I know I'm going to do a ton of dumping with the trailer that day, I'll just dump the trailer with the engine running on my truck. So the whole time it's cranking the ampage from the alternator and it's pretty much helping out this whole setup. But I've done four or five dumps in a day now and not even a flinch from this battery setup. I don't have any problems with getting the right amount of electricity to that pump. It has ran awesome. If I'm only doing one dump maybe a day or something like that, well, you know, it already has the battery charging system from the truck on there. And so those thin red wires right there go into that breaker that is mounted to the sidewall of this box. That actually goes to the trailer wiring connection and there's one wire dedicated in that seven-way connector that is just a power connector and it slowly trickle charges your battery when you have it hooked up to your vehicle so if you're driving your vehicle a lot but you're not dumping it a lot well you know you're going to charge your battery some and probably keep it topped off if it's a good battery so one dump here two dumps here not a big deal it's when you use this thing a lot that this extra cabling kicks in because here i don't even have it hooked up and that's not the newest of batteries. And I have no problem running this dump trailer with the battery that's in there. Now, if I did, let's say, two dumps with this trailer, I'd probably start getting to a weak battery. And you know what that sounds like, right? The engine starts bogging down and maybe even gets to the point where it's just clicking. One dump is no problem. But if I need to do three, four, five, or I know I'm going to be doing quite a few a day, I come over here, I unwrap my cable, I come to the truck, I pull the cap off that protects these, pull the cap off the end of this one also. And this is pretty hard to push together with one hand. You really got to have two hands because I have to hold it here and then hold it here. I don't have a really solid mount here yet. I want to actually make me a metal bracket that holds this really nice and tight so I can do this with one hand. But right now, since I didn't build a bracket, I've just got zip ties holding this in. And if I just push it really hard with one hand, it breaks the zip ties. 
But this is the basic setup. Let me show you it all the way closed. So that's it, pushed all the way closed. You see they seat really well. They've even got, again, these little caps that protect the ends of this. But right now I have both of the batteries in my truck feeding this right here. And this is going all the way up into my battery box, working with the existing battery that's in there to run the pump. So technically I have three 12 volt batteries running this pump, more than enough voltage and ampage to run this thing just nonstop all day long. So I hope this video was helpful. It definitely was helpful for me to get this setup done and it just completely changed the entire idea I had on my trailer. I was even looking at adding multiple batteries to this box, maybe building another box in front to put an array of batteries. But you know, I really can't stand buying batteries all the time. You know, if you let a battery deplete more than 50%, you really start wearing down on that battery and then you got multiple batteries. It's just a mess. This right here has been for me, the perfect solution. If the video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And hopefully I'll have a lot more helpful videos for you in the near future. But that's all from me today. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all take care.